underestimate the power we have to really uh, make a difference for the people who put their lives on the front lines for a better world. Uh, Marina, you're still doing that. Uh, we heard tonight about how you started um, the first hotline and counseling service for women who were abused in Russia. Uh, you have been taking care of victims of trafficking at a time when nobody knew even if there was a w word in the Russian language for what was happening. Just give us a, a little snapshot on how what you started has progressed and where you are today. Well, um, you've heard in the play that we have now 160 organizations across the country that help victims of um, violence in Russia. Um, but our main challenge, and we've done training, we've done training with police, with judges, prosecutors. Um, our main challenge today is that we still don't have a law defining domestic violence as a crime. Basically, it's still general assault. And that is why the number of 14,000 women killed every year is still true in modern Russia. Um, but the good news is um, I, I came here from the Vital Voices um, Summit and Avon Summit, and one of the Russian senators came with me. And on, on the second day after listening to everything, he said to me, you know what, I'm fed up. Let's just write this law. And today he said, <laughs> and today he said that um, in April we will have parliamentarian hearings in um, in Russia on violence against women. So these are good news. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and and um, one new very challenging project for Russia is working with harmful cultural traditions like bridal abduction, honor killings. Believe it or not, we have it in our backyard. We have it in Northern Caucasus in Russia. And after we have done uh, monitoring of the women's rights situation in, that, in Russia and in that particular region, we found that in Dagestan alone, uh, in one year about uh, 200 girls are abducted for forced marriages. And that inspired us, and people think we are crazy, but we started working, we are developing, I mean, started working, and it's really, it's too much to say. Uh, we, we are trying to, to work within the communities, uh, because we realized that we cannot come from outside and change it for the people who live this and use these practices. So we, we, we Together with local NGOs, uh, we are working, trying to change the attitude within the communities. And we are doing it in a way that we are learning um, uh, their tr harmful traditions, but also traditions where women are portrayed as, um, as some like strong foundation for a family and for the society. In other words, our target is to try to replace the bad image of women and harmful traditions uh, with a positive, respectful tradition. I will tell you in 10 or 15 years if we will succeed. Thank you, Marina.